Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Galad Rosinger, Scottsdale, Arizona. This sickness is not unto death. All day I kept hearing this phrase in my spirit, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. This phrase is from the famous story where Yeshua raises Lazarus from the dead. In the story, the Lord is notified that Lazarus is very sick. When the news arrives, they are a long journey away from him. But instead of leaving right away as the news comes in, the Lord actually waits even longer before departing. When the Lord arrives, Lazarus has been dead four days. The immediate reaction is, Lord, if you would have come sooner, he would not have died. But the Lord's position was, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Lazarus was not only clinically dead, he was beyond any hope as time had passed, the situation was beyond impossible in the natural. Although this was the, in fact the purpose, when the Lord called him forth, a powerful resurrection took place. The impossible happened. A miracle of miracles at the sound of the command of Yeshua. Lazarus, come forth. I hear the Lord prophesying over you today. Arise, come forth. You have battled and you have warred. You have waited. You have been tested. You were crushed and you were pruned. You were thrown in the fire and you have been sifted. You have been resisted, but now you've been uplifted. You seem to have died in many areas, in your dreams, your hopes, your promises. But just as a seed has to die and be buried in the ground only to bud forth with life, bud forth with life, so so shall you see the rebirth of all that has been promised to you. For he who promised is faithful. Just one command from the King of Kings. Every single circumstance that you thought impossible can and will shift from ashes to glory. Get yourself in a position of praise because your vindication is close. It's here. Take your focus off of your circumstances and put it onto the one who walks in resurrection power. See John 11, 4, John 11, 25 and 26, and John 11, 43 and 44, all in the Amplified Translation. Friend, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the promise that you have. Lord Jesus, that you offer us wholeness, health. Lord, that we can trade in our sickness, our curse. Father, if you can heal us from our, our, our farness from God, if you can reconcile our sin, how much more? Our earthly sicknesses. Lord, I lift up the one who is sick today. Lord Jesus, in your power and your might, I pray that healing comes forth. Lord, I pray that no matter what the enemy has devised against my friend, Father, that you, Lord, you would do a mighty work. And just as Lazarus came forth, my friend would come out of this season. And Lord Jesus, that my friend wouldn't even smell like smoke. There wouldn't even be, be grave clothes. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that the sickness is not unto death and you are willing and able to heal. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we declare amen.